What's up everyone, Keith Deshaun here. So we have a lot of new information for FGO Cosmos in the Lost Belt. Um, as for chapter one, not too much, but we did get some information that we actually are very excited for. Um, not only did we get a release date for Cosmos in the Lost Belt chapter one, uh, we also got a rarity uh, confer confirmation for Anastasia here and we also got a new trailer for uh, Lost Belt number one and probably all the servants coming in with that chapter not only that we also we also got a new uh, we also got a new um, collab coming in or a special collab it's not really a huge collab but uh, we have a little special event coming in as well so we're gonna go ahead and watch those trailers as well and um, as for the Fate Grand Order Arcade trailer, I'm probably going to go ahead and react to that into, in a different video. So um, probably tomorrow you guys will see that video. But anyways, putting that aside, let's go ahead and look at the information that we got for Lost Belt number one. So again, this is Anastasia. She came out in the prologue number two. Uh, that was in um, December, almost near, almost close to New Year's if I remember correctly. But uh, we got this last year, and um, or we got her reveal last year, and people were like, "Who the hell is she?" And then they revealed the chapter for the next um, for the next chapter, the title of the next chapter, and it was Anastasia. We're like, oh, "Okay, it's Anastasia." And now um, we scroll down a little bit, we get you know a little bit of information on the chapter, and then we have the release date of this chapter as well, April fourth. So a week and a, a week and a couple days from now. So very very excited for Lost Belt number one, Anastasia. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, uh, we don't have to really worry about the, um, the information here because this is it just talks about what they got from the prologue um, and all that stuff. So this we don't have to re really worry about. And then down here, we have the master reveal. So um, we all expected him to be the master. I don't think we got it. Did we get a name yet? I, I, think, I think we did, actually. I just don't remember his name. It's been a while since I last saw him. But um, he is apparently Anastasia's master. Um, we're going to definitely see him in... Um, the next chapter so very very excited as for uh, the trailer we'll watch it after we talk about all this so um at the end of the video we'll watch the trailer and break it down a little bit but uh let's go ahead and go to the other information so anime japan they announced a whole bunch of stuff um as you can see here uh we have cosmo the lost belt the release of you know, anastasia events april 4th and then we scroll down a little bit we get a new visual so look at this we have arturia holding avalon so this might be a hint that she is getting a update she might be getting that avalon skill that all of us have been speculating so uh definitely definitely hoping that she gets that skill so uh that's, that's really awesome that she's holding avalon there so really really excited to see that um then we have uh the caster the new caster that was revealed the other day uh people are saying that it might be skasaha's sister or possibly daughter um i'm just gonna throw my money that it's gonna be skasaha i mean she has it um she does have a past or a history with Yuin ruins and magic powers and stuff like that and her sister is more like a writer in my opinion so um, as for her daughter, I have no information on her daughter, so I'm assuming that's going to be Skasaha Caster. Then we have um, the Saber that was revealed a couple day, uh, a couple weeks ago as well. Uh, he was also in the trailer. He, she, I, I'm not too sure if it's a he or she, but we, we saw that, uh, that servant in the uh, first trailer. And then we have the Lancer as well. Then we have Cas Caster Limbo. And then on the left side, we have some pretty interesting servants that we'll talk about in a bit. But we also have the new Rider. We also have the new Archer that was revealed the other day. And then we have Loli Da Vinci. Um, she came out in Lost Cosmos in the prologue as well. Uh, maybe she might come in as a, as a permanent servant. So that'd be really awesome. And then uh, we have these two here. We have that Caster that we saw in the prologue. So... Now we know she is officially a fox. That's not Tamamo, right? But she's wearing glasses. So yeah, that's not Tamamo. I'm pretty sure that's not Tamamo. That's the the, the fox uh, girl that we saw in uh, the prologue. So um, that's probably her right there. She's wearing a very, very skimpy rubber outfit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's really cool. Uh, we have a confirmation that she is another fox. And then we have... I have no idea who that is. 
Um, many are saying that it's probably Ashura because, uh, or it's the it's the servant that came out in the opening animation, the trailer with the four arms. That's probably him before he gets his arms, maybe. But uh, yeah, those, those two servants uh, we can't really confirm yet. But I'm assuming that Fox servant right there is the is the lady, the the character that we saw in the in the prologue. So yeah, I mean, awesome. I'm really hoping that uh, Arturia gets that Avalon skill, and then also we have Mashu in her little uh, her armor outfit, I guess you can say. So uh, very very excited to see all these servants soon. Um, then we have a Fate Apocrypha event. Apocrypha, Apocrypha event. Um, the Apocrypha event. Uh, there's no official release date on it. Uh, my assumption is that they're gonna release it during Golden Week in Japan. So, um, so not not anytime soon. Maybe after a couple weeks, a week or two after uh, they release Lost Belt number one, because I mean they have to deal with the April Fools event that they always do every year. So um, I'm pretty sure this will come out after Lost Belt number one. So, Apocrypha event. Very very excited. Um, they also revealed a lot of these Apocrypha event I mean, uh, servants in the trailer. So. Um, definitely gonna look at that, and then of course we'll be getting quartz, ten quartz, so really awesome. And then what is this from? Oh, that's the login dates. Okay, cool. And then um, other than that, nothing really. Oh yeah, and a real uh, dungeon game that they're doing for Fate Grand Order, so uh, that's pretty cool. And then more uh, information on the arcade. Uh, what is this? Oh, is this the arcade? Oh, so you can get different costumes for uh, the arcade servants. Hey, so that's Hercules number two, number three, Martha. Oh, they revealed Martha? Oh, crap. So Martha is confirmed as a playable servant in arcade. Huh? That's cool. And then we have more information on Fate Grand Order Duel, the board game that they announced not too long ago. Um, no release date or anything like that. Oh, it's going to come out summer 2018. Hey. And the minifigures are random? Are you serious? Random mini. F so in order to play this board games, you need to get these figures, and um, they're gonna basically make the figures into a gotcha system <laughs> and the command cards. Oh wow, that's really. I don't know about that. <laughs> so these mini figures and the command cards are random, and you get five of them, and they're like a thousand two hundred yen each. I don't know about that, man. That's kind of uh... this release the board game as as it is you know just give us the figures and stuff already that's that's kind of dumb in my opinion but i mean it makes sense because it is fate grand order gotcha system but um all right cool so uh let's just go ahead and watch the trailers now because uh, i want to watch it I, ha I haven't watched it yet all i know um i saw some screenshots so i do I, ha I have seen a lot of these servants in it but um i haven't seen the trailer itself so let's go ahead and watch all the trailers that they released for fate grand order all right, so we have here the Anastasia TV commercial. So I'm pretty sure you guys can tell by the shot already that that is Anastasia, not Anastasia, I'm sorry, Berserker Atalanta um, from Apokarpha. So yeah, really excited to see her. Um, I think she's going to be a four-star servant. So yeah. And not only that, what's really interesting about the shot is the wolves. As you can see, they're actually wearing clothing. So they might be werewolves, like people that turn into wolves, maybe. I don't know, but like that's kind of weird that they're wearing clothing. Maybe maybe I'm just thinking too much. Uh, they're just like, you know, like the, we call their owner is just like, oh, I don't want you to be cold, so I'm just going to put a coat on you kind of thing. But uh, very interesting that why they're wearing uh, coats there. And then, of course, the Atlanta Berserker. Hoping that she's a Berserker. Maybe an Avenger, possibly. Now, then we have Musashi, uh, really cool to see a returning servant. Um, so maybe she might come back as a pickup servant. Maybe she played a big role in Cosmos, but uh, who knows? I mean, it might just be like, oh, let's just throw in a random servant. Man, they just decided to pick Musashi, maybe. And then we have, Ga oh, Garoku. There you go, that's his name. <laughs> I was trying to remember his name for the longest time, but it's Garoku. He is, of course, the master, one of the mas seven masters. Uh, and we're all assuming that he is Anastasia's master. And then Anastasia herself. You have Kotomine, and then I don't know who that is, and Avanok, uh, what was his name again? Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't remember his name. Uh, Avangedong? I, I, I can't remember, his, I can't pronounce his name, I'm, I'm so bad. But he's from Ap Apocrypha, and then of course Mashu here. 
that it's almost releasing. So uh, let's go back a little bit, actually. So um, there are a couple of things I want to talk about. So one is this. Uh, there is another wolf. He's also wearing clothing. So this goes back to that first shot that we saw in the beginning of the trailer. Uh, maybe these wolves are originally human. They can, they're like werewolves. They, these humans turn into werewolves. And um, yeah, I, I don't know. They, they might be servants. But uh, I'm assuming the reason why they threw the shot in is because, yeah, this is a servant. Um, we don't know exactly who because, again, it's a wolf and it's wearing clothing. So I'm assuming the, um, the two wolves that we saw with uh, Atlanta Berserker are also servants or, like, maybe, like, you know, um, mobs. Who knows? But I'm pretty sure this, has, this guy right here, this wolf right here, played a big role in Lost Belt Chapter 1. Now, uh, going over here... We don't know who this is. We can't tell. It's just too dark to tell. But this might be another servant. Um, it's just really... I, we Honestly, I, I can't tell who this is at all. But uh, this has to be a servant that uh, we don't know of. If not, maybe a, a character that's going to play a huge role in, um, in Lost Belt. But uh, other than that, uh, where, where else? Oh, yeah, this guy here. Um, this is a servant. We don't know who this is. Uh, the first time seeing him or her... But uh, I'm assuming he looks like an assassin, maybe a berserker. So, um, but yeah, I mean, he, he he does look pretty cool. So, I mean, he it looks like he has some kind of like blood dark power. I think I, that's it looks like blood. So maybe he controls blood, or he, he just killed someone. Maybe uh, I can't really say too much. But uh, he does have like this scarf looking thing and it's shining red as well as his left arm um the coat that his that wing on his right side is dark and red outlined in his red so i don't know maybe he controls blood somehow maybe a vampire possibly um I, we have to wait and see but uh, this guy looks awesome can't wait to see who he is and then we have kotomine here it looks a little bit different from what we originally uh remember him but that is kotomine for sure um he played a huge role in the prologue uh i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys um already know the uh why what or what he did in the prologue but uh for those who don't know i'm not gonna you know spoil it so i'm not gonna say anything but uh, kotomine is gonna be coming back he's gonna play a huge role in cosmos and the lost belt and then of course anastasia and then this right here the shadow on that rock um this actually I don't know what that is. I think uh, for those who actually know about Anastasia's past might know about it. But um, actually, uh, I think, it, I, I, again, I don't know what it is. But I know it comes out in the uh, during her Noble Phantasm. Because I actually watched her Noble Phantasm earlier. but uh, Which we're going to watch in a bit as well. But um, that thing appears in the Noble Phantasm. So uh, we'll look at that later on. But uh, Anastasia, very, very excited for her. And uh, she is confirmed as a SSR, a five-star servant. So i um, not exactly sure if she's going to be permanent or uh, limited. But I'm hoping that she is permanent. Please be permanent. <laughs> and then, um, of course, we have Garoku. Finally, I remember remembered his name. So yeah, all the masters have their names revealed. So Garoku, very excited to see him. I want to know what kind of character he is. Um, then, of course, Musashi. We don't have to really talk about her. Uh, and then we have... Uh, can we get her? Can we get a face shot or no? Is it possible to get a face? No, we can't get a face shot. Huh? Oh, okay. That's that's weird. I thought we can get a face shot, but that is um, Atlanta Berserker or Avenger. Who knows? So um, very excited to see her coming in to Lost Belt. Now again, uh, these guys they're wearing. Uh, we have a very good shot here with uh, the wolves here wearing the coats. So yeah, I'm pretty sure these are humans or master or some kind of like you know. Uh, homo close maybe that turn into wolves werewolves so um i'm pretty sure this is going to play a huge huge part in lost belt chapter one but yeah uh, that was uh the trailer for anastasia chapter so uh, very very excited to see all these oh yeah we we, we didn't get to see uh where is he? is he oh there he is there he is so um i can't remember his name avon avon kiron uh, Avon Kirong, I, I can't remember his name for some reason, but uh, he obviously he came in Apokrypha, so he's going to be a servant. I think he's going to be a three-star rarity servant. But anyways, let's go ahead and watch the Apokrypha uh, special event trailer, as well as the Noble Phantasm for uh, Anastasia. So starting off with the Apokrypha special event trailer...
So Janna Dark, Mordred, Jack, Karna, Astolfo, Spartacus, Avalula, I can't remember his name. <laughs> but yeah, all the servants coming in. Or we're not exactly sure if they're coming in or not, but um, hoping they come in. So uh, now we now that we have confirmation that... Uh, hold on, let me just turn off the volume real quick. Now with, I mean, we have Janna Dark. She was in the game originally. We have uh, Mordred already. We have uh, we have uh, Astolfo. We have Jack. Um, I still want Jack. I don't have her yet. So I'm hoping that I can pull her. Maybe all of these servants are going to get raid ups for this special event. So hoping that that is a thing. Um, Astolfo obviously already in the game. Then we already have him in the game. Uh, he's going to come in in Lost Belt Chapter One. So very excited to see him again. I think he's going to be a three star rarity. Um, then we have Atlanta coming back. I'm not too sure if they're going to bring in Atlanta Avenger Berserker in this pickup, but it'd be pretty cool. So two different Atlantas in the pickup. And then of course we have, maybe not, be, but she was in the anime, so mm, I don't know. <laughs> then we have Vlad Berserker, obviously. Um, then we have Semiramis. She might be coming back. So for those who didn't get Semiramis before, hey, here you go. She might get a rate up. And then, um, we have Frankenstein. Uh, freak, uh, uh, why, why do I have a huge brain fart? <laughs> um, uh, Shakespeare. <laughs> and then, uh, we have the two servants that everyone is waiting for, Achilles. Oh my god, I can't, I can't wait for these two to come in. Like, I, I think both of them are going to be four-star servants, so very excited to see these two come in, so, man. And then this dragon, oh, Z Zeke, right? Yeah, uh, not Zeke, but um, Sumanai-san. So, uh, and then we have Zeke here. Maybe Zeke might be a servant. He he did appear in that, uh, the trailer, like right here. Hold on. What, oh, where do you go? He was just here. Hold on. There he is. See, Zeke, we had Zeke there. Uh, maybe he might be a servant. That'd be pretty cool, actually. I'd roll for him. I mean, even though I don't really like him as a character, but uh, I, I, I'd, I'd roll for him if he's limited. That'd be pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I think there's a chance that a lot of these servants might come in to Fate Grand Order during this Apocrypha event. So, uh, very, very excited. I mean, technically, he is a servant. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, really excited to see all these uh, these characters come in in this Apocrypha event. Again, it's not confirmed, but uh, we can we can hope that they come in. Um, now let's go ahead and watch the Anastasia trailer. So this is uh, a, a, a stream from the Anime Japan event in Japan. Uh, again, we have confirmed that Anastasia is a caster. She is an SSR, so she's a five-star servant. And um, she is from Russia, Mother Russia. <laughs> so uh, putting that aside, let's go ahead and watch her, uh, her Noble Phantasm. Anastasia Nikoloevana Romanova. <laughs> Long name. So V, I think V is that shadow. I don't know anything on V. I, I might look it up after this. So here we go. V, V, V. That's the name of the, the noble phantasm. Whoa, was this her voice? Did they change her voice? No, right? Wait, was her noble phantasm like this in pro in the prologue? Wait, was it? I don't remember. I, I know she did. She used it in the prologue, right? If I remember correctly, I don't remember. Wait, I don't remember this at all, actually. Oh man, I don't remember V coming out in the prologue. Maybe it did. I, I might just be, be forgetting everything, but um. I believe the voice actress is Hayami Saudi, if I remember, if I if I can recognize that voice. But, um, yeah, I mean, Anastasia, very excited to see her. Definitely going to be rolling the crap out of her. So, yeah, um, that's going to basically be about it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, I'll be reacting to the, uh, the trailer for the arcade in another video, so look forward to that. But, yeah, Anastasia... Um, Lost Belt Chapter 1 coming out, all these random servants, or not random, but all these crazy servants coming out, and then we also also have the Apocrypha event coming out as well, and I'm assuming that's going to come out after, 
you know, a couple days or weeks after uh, the release of Lost Belt number one. But yeah, uh, what do you guys think about uh, the all this information that we got? Do you think Avalon is going to get that? Or do you think that Archery is going to get that Avalon skill? Um, which servant are you excited for? And uh, what do you think about the uh, the trailer for Anastasia TV commercial? Put all those in the comments down below. See you guys in the next one. Laters. I see that.